despite the DC Universe being despite the DC Universe being on life support, it seems like they're talking about expanding the Titans lineup. Let's talk about the spin-off shows. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CP Nostalgia, and today we're going to talk a little bit about DC Universe's Titans. But first, I wanted to remind everybody, when you're looking for your place for all your comic book news, rumors, and reviews, all while looking for the good and positive in the characters we love, make sure you hit that like button and press subscribe. Now, earlier this week, we talked a little bit about how the DC Universe's days might be numbered and they all could be headed over to HBO Max. I mean, when you sort of think about it, it doesn't make any sense for Warner Brothers to have several competing streaming services and taking money from each other. Just put it all in the same place. And Business Insider did a great breakdown of this. Now, the Digital Labs employee that spoke to Business Insider did say that the feeling was that they would be around for another year or two. And that's where this interesting news starts to come in. Now, according to the Digital Labs employee, the feeling is that the DC Universe is going to be around for another year or two, and they're committed to funding. And the output is going to be small, and it's going to be focused on the Titans. As a result of this, a number of spin-offs are in the work. Now, a couple of months ago, we actually spoke about Hawk and Dove. And there was another one that I was hearing rumors of, but I couldn't get any confirmation of, and that was The Red Hood. Now, with some of these spin-offs starting to happen, we may actually see these come back to life. According to Lance Offesser, over on the DC Titans Facebook group, there's a couple other characters they're looking at. One of those characters is Nightwing. And it would be pretty interesting to see Nightwing get his own series, but with him as lead of the Titans, I don't know how that would work. Another one would be Deathstroke. Maybe a backstory following Deathstroke or one of his adventures before the encounters with the Titans, or set between the two time frames we saw him in the show, could be really cool. The third one, and most interesting to me personally, would be Superboy. Joshua Orp and Superboy on Titans is great. I really love the way it brings the character to life, and he totally vibes a young Christopher Reeves. Giving him his own series with a full Superboy mythos built around it could be great. Quite honestly, Colonel Walters' Jason Todd is probably the fan favorite for this show. The Jason Todd character on the show is hugely popular, and even for people not familiar with the Red Hood, it's an easy transition. The Red Hood himself and the story of the death of Jason Todd is a huge part of DC Comics, so it's really unclear how exactly they would handle this or even if they would kill Jason out and out anyway. If they killed Donna Troy, there's really no reason not to kill Jason Todd too and simply bring him back via the Lazarus Pit. My real question is, does all this happen off screen? Now, obviously, there's some other characters they could run with. They could do Starfire, and they, and they could even look at Raven or Beast Boy, or heck, any of the many other Titans we haven't even been introduced to yet. But I do suspect that, I do think the most likely candidate is the Red Hood, followed by Hawk and Dove, and then maybe Superboy. In any case, I'm really curious on what you guys think about getting a couple of Titans spin-off shows, and what character would you most like to see get their own series? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.